Hi, students, parents, and teachers. My name is John Lone, and I am the media specialist at McGinn Elementary, and I'm excited to be with you today to go through the process of reserving or holding books from our libraries. Um, I'm going to walk you through the steps that will be used by the students or yourselves to assist your children uh, in identifying books that they would like to check out. Uh, as we move through this virtual learning process, uh, we're looking for ways to get books into the students' hands, and we have many ideas um, running through our minds. Um, but we did find that through uh, our library catalogs and the system that we use, students will be able to reserve or hold their own books, at which time we can then run a report, collect the books for the students, and set up a pickup time for these books. Um, as I go through the steps, they may seem um, daunting initially. I promise you that as you use the system uh, more consistently, that you will uh, get a feel. Uh, you'll be able to bookmark certain areas that will help you uh, get exactly to where you need to be. But for today, I'm going to take you step by step um, from the very beginning of how you can hold a book. So on the screen, you'll see that I am on the main page of the Scotch Plains Fanwood Public School District. SPFK12.org is the address. And if you go here, you can then choose to go to the individual school sites. Okay, as the media specialist at McGinn, I'm going to show you through the McGinn process. If you go over to our schools, you will see each school listed in a drop down menu. Okay, simply select the school that your children that your child attends or children attend, and you will be brought to the homepage of that school. Okay, so I am now on McGinn's homepage. The next thing I need to do is to access the media center for McGinn. Using these head headers here, okay, I need to find where the media center is located. For McGinn, it is under our the our school tab. I will go down and I will click media center. This brings you to my main page. It has my welcome letter, a little bit about myself, and it has various links down the left side. My library catalog from again is listed here as the very first option under home. So I will now click library catalog. Okay, that brings me to this page here, which is called the Destiny, Destiny Online School Catalog. Destiny is the program or the company that we use uh, for our library books and our media centers for organization. You can simply click this link, which will now bring you to additional links to the various school catalogs. Again, we'll click McGinn. And I am now on the general catalog page for McGinn School. Okay, this is where I can search to, to simply find out what is in the library. Okay, if I want to know uh, what kind of cooking books are in the library. I can just simply hit cooking, hit an enter, and it will provide a list of the cooking books that we have. The title is here. What section of the library here? This is a, actually Cooking Queen is a fiction book. Okay, the author's name is here. The public, uh, the year it was published. Additional information. Here is a book that is in the nonfiction section, which is actually about cooking. And again, there is extra details. If the book is available, it will say one of one available. If there's multiple copies, maybe one of two, two of two. If it says zero of one, it means it is currently checked out. Now, when you're on this generic catalog page that we went to, all you can do is view what is available in the library. To get to a point where you need to, uh, where you can hold books, you're going to need to log in students as yourself or parents as your children. So in the top right corner, you will see a login option. Go ahead and click that. And you will see on the right side, and I'm going to delete my pre-saved username and password. You will see an option to type in your username and password. The nice thing about our Destiny accounts is that they use the exact username and passwords that the students use to access their um, Chromebooks, Mac Airs, whatever they need to get to Google Classroom. So I have children in the district. I will uh, use one of my uh, one of my third graders' usernames and passwords to guide you through the rest of this process. Now, <clears throat> for my daughter, her username is 30 T Loan. Okay. To break that down, 30 is the year she is graduating. Everybody can take a deep breath. I know that's pretty uh, overwhelming, but yes, she's part of the third graders right now. Are part of the class of 2030. 
as hard as that is to believe. If you type in after the 30, you would type in the first initial of your child's name, followed by their last name. So 30, T is my daughter's first name, Loan is the last name. You then go down to the password. Every student has a six digit password. It is the one that is tied into their lunch accounts. It is also what they use to get into their uh, device for school. So I will type in Tiernan's and I will click login or enter. And it will now bring me back to the catalog page, but you will now see in the top right that the student name is displayed. This means you are now in the, the, the specific student's access page. This is where they will be able to reserve or hold books. Okay, if you do not see your student's name up here, that means you are, or your child's name up here, that means you are not uh, logged in as, the, as your child and, or yourself if you are a student and you're gonna to have to go through the process again. Okay, on the left side, there are two options. Library search is the uh, old school version of searching. However, I believe it's a little bit quicker. Destiny Discover is the more updated visual option that you have and I will show you that in a minute. Let's pretend Tiernan wants to check out a book that has to do with gymnastics. I will simply type in gymnastics and hit enter. It will now show me all books that are related to gymnastics. Now you're going to get a mix, if there are some in that library, of fiction and nonfiction, and you can see that. This is from the Kylie Jean series, so it's Kylie Jean Gymnastics Queen. This is a fiction book. I know that Tiernan wants something specifically about um, the events in gymnastics. So I'll scroll down, see what we have. Uh, and I find this one here on the floor exercise looks good. It will tell you where it's available in the library. We'll use that to uh, grab the books for your children. It will give you a reading level, okay? Actually, I will not choose this because I have this on hold for Tiernan already. But you, this is a good area where you can see now, this book, Zero of One, is checked currently checked out, okay? so. We know this book is not available now. That doesn't mean you can't put it on hold. You will just go into a queue in the order that it was requested. So if I continue to, to scroll down, I now come across Balance Beam. And that will satisfy her interests. I will click on the title. I see that one of one is available. I will now click on the title. Balance Beam, Tips, Rules, and Legendary Stars. That sounds great. If I go now to the top right of this area of the book, I have an option to hold the book. All you need to do is click that once. It will bring you back to, it will bring you to this page here to confirm. I click save. I now get a notice that says a hold is requested for balance beam tips, rules, and legendary stars. I will now as the librarian or media specialist, I will get an alert and a note in my reports that I can print out and I know what books to collect for Tiernan. If you are more of a visual type who would like to see some of the covers of the book right away, the option to use Destiny, Destiny Discover exists. If I go down here and I click Destiny Discover, I will get this screen instead. Again, there's a search bar here. You can type in anything you want to look for books that interest you students or parents, your children, and you can look around and see what you would like. Now, if I uh, as I scroll down, I can see that these books have a green tag in the top left corner of their cover, that, and it says in. That means the book is available. If you see a book that has the red tag without, that means it is currently checked out. Perhaps I want to read the next book in the Mr. Lemoncello series, and I want to hold that. In Destiny Discover, you would simply just go to hold, click it. You will get the note that you have hold, uh, held the book. If by accident you had clicked on it, you can just go down here, click again, and it will unhold the book for you, and your hold has been taken away. It's your choice what you prefer to use for um, your library catalog and to do your holds. There will be information passed out uh, of when we are going to start doing the book checkout process. Um, and so please do not put books on hold quite yet. You'll get an, an alert on when that is going to happen. The plan would then be for us to collect the books put them in a bag or put them rubber band them together and have them in a pickup place where a specified uh, period of time will be uh, 
uh, you will be alerted to a period of time where you can come and collect the books that your child has checked out. It will take us some time to collect them, but we have some aides in the libraries who are going to help us and support this process. If you have any questions, please reach out to your school librarian. Hopefully this, pro um, this tutorial is helpful. Again, I know it's multiple steps, but the kids will become more comfortable with it as we go along and parents, hopefully you will too. So thank you for your time. And uh, uh, we look forward to getting books into the students' hands. Take care.